boy Clydesdale, an OTR driver, solo, never team, solo for Leonard's Express. Thanks for coming in. Hello to the family and friends, to the love of my life. Changing up this intro a little bit, kind of getting old. I'm getting sick of it, so I can only imagine what y'all are doing. So, but anyway, um, I got to talk about something right away. A couple of videos ago, which I know it's been a minute, so sorry. Um, it was, uh, I mentioned that I had a shake in the truck and it was coming, I mean, through the steering wheels, seat of my pants and so forth. And uh, I never really mentioned what the end result of that was and I'm gonna, I'm fixing to tell you now. So what happened was, uh, you may or may not have seen the video where I dropped that trailer uh, that I was with for like almost a month. <clears throat> and then um, I picked up a new trailer at the uh, Fred Moye DC in Clackamas. And then I drove that trailer back to Caldwell because they were gonna send my truck to the dealership. As it turns out, that trailer was what was shaking this whole truck. Because what, as I rolled down the road, the shaking just magically went away. So I don't have a shake anymore and I'm not running that trailer either. So that's that was definitely part of the problem. So anyway, um, I did some home time. That's why it's been a minute. And uh, it was, we didn't get as much quality time with my love as we would have liked to had to have had, I guess I should say. Uh, but because she's a swimming teacher, as I've said a thousand times, and highly sought after, so uh, she was busy, you know? I mean, what could we do? We had dinners in the evenings, and, um, you know, uh, spent as much quality time as we possibly could, you know, and, and that's important. I uh, got to see my Illinois faction. They came out for a celebration of life for Brother Bob, Bob passed away a month ago or so, and uh, uh, he was a good dude, and we all knew him and loved him, and so we all gathered at uh, Sharon's and said uh, said our goodbyes, and just had a lovely, like, little swim party in his honor, so uh, that was a lot of fun, and then I went and picked up a load in Riverside, and I took that load up to the Target DC in Sacramento, beautiful place. It's a very nice place, actually. I wish they would have had their shit together. I was there for four hours. Not uncommon in the reefer business for live unloads. Not uncommon at all. Just irritating. Doesn't I don't really, you know, see a need to be sitting there burning my clock up for four hours. You know, I did go into sleeper mode, so I was able to save it. But that's a whole other story for a whole other day. But uh, we were able to hang on to, uh, you know, some of our hours, which was helpful because we needed it later in the day to get to Tracy, California, to Luprino Foods with the load I have on right now. If you've ever had mozzarella cheese on your pizza, I've got it on board. I'm taking it to New Jersey. And uh, <laughs> when I get to uh, New Jersey, I've already got another load scheduled uh, out of... Um, Allentown, PA. So, yeah, we're uh, cruising right along. Uh, had to get the truck washed at the um, Fernley truck stop. And what else happened at Fernley? I don't know. I think I have Biden Mencha or something. Forgot to put my oil cap back on. It made a mess under the hood. So I had that cleaned up. My dime my problem, my mess, I took care of it. Um, but I left Fernley, I bought a new uh, headset. The headset that I had was a Ram McNally and it just, it went to hell on me. Broke, couldn't charge it anymore, so I got one of these blue parrots. I like it a lot actually, this blue parrot's pretty good. It's not the you know, the model that'll, you know, wash your face for you. I don't need all that nonsense. I just need to talk on the phone. That's all I need. Uh, 
So anyway, while I was buying that, I set my shower bag down, bought that thing, and a nice, beautiful cup of joe. <laughs> Cheers. Walked off. Left my whole freaking shower bag sitting right at the cash register. Unbelievable. My folks get it. Because I've been doing this shit since I'm five. I'm not even kidding you. I can't tell you how many jackets I left on the recess playground. I can't tell you how many baseball gloves I left sitting on the bench. Um, my dad said one time after we went to a Indian guide's camp out or whatever you want to call it. He said, I'll tell you what, if I wasn't there, Clyde would have left everything. <laughs> just come on home, you know, because that's just, I am so absent-minded when it comes to shit like that. I don't get it. If I get distracted in any way, I have to, I just get, I just go on with my day like, I was done with what I was doing and I'm just gonna move on. I'm 56 years old, I still haven't figured out how to manage that. Unbelievable. So now I'm going through an ordeal on how to get it picked up. My love's gonna help me take care of that today. So I've talked to them, they've already boxed it up for me, they're just waiting on a call tag. Shipping label or whatever you wanna call it. So anyway, uh, I had to go to Walmart yesterday in Rollins, Wyoming, and get a whole nother setup of my shower gear. Unbelievable. Not very proud of myself when it comes to that stuff. So, anyway, uh, we're going to go to Manuka today. I'm currently in Grand Island, Nebraska. One of my faves, I gotta tell you, this is this truck stop is definitely one of my favorites. It's gigantic. It has, let's see if we can turn you around. Look at there. This place has about 400 parking spots. It's along I-80 in Grand Island, uh, Nebraska. And uh, this place is, I mean, when I got up this morning at six o'clock and went in there to take a shower, there were 13 showers available. You know, this is one of those places where you could probably show up any time during the day in the entire 24 hours and get a shower, which that is very convenient. I appreciate that. So it's one of my faves. I like this stop a lot. Plus it's an unlimited fuel stop for us. I surely don't need fuel now. I'm a little heavy on my drives. So I gotta play this fuel game. It's a, it's a game we have to play from time to time uh, because we have weight issues. So we just have to, uh, we have to deal with that. Uh, can't fill the damn thing up because I'll be way too heavy. I'll be like 700 pounds over. Uh, and that's, that's probably too much. You know, some places some way stations will give you four or five hundred pounds. They're not going to worry about four or five hundred pounds. You're going to burn it off in fuel anyway, and they know that. But seven hundred, yeah, that's you're getting into you know treacherous territory at that point. So, but anyway, so uh, we move along. Got to go to Manuka, Illinois. It two is off the I-80, and then after that, it starts to get a lot more complicated on. You know, highways and byways to get me into Vineland, New Jersey. I uh, gotta go through Philly. Not looking forward to that. I might rearrange and travel a different way to avoid Philly because Philly's a nightmare. But we'll see how it goes. So, hey, thanks for coming along with me. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been a minute, so uh, I get all that, and I, I don't know what to tell you. I get I get to all you. So I'm burning up some time here this morning to uh, talk to you all and update everybody and see how it's going. And uh, again, to all my friends and family, love, love. You do know who love you. It's your boy. It's Clydesdale. We're running Leonard's Express Reefer stuff. You know what I mean? We're having a ball doing it. 
you know, take care, be good to people, take care of yourself, be good to yourself. You know who love you. Peace.